Hi everybody. It's Victoria Mallory and, and Tony Mallory. I like it. I like it. Turn on. Yeah. You yeah. <laughs> Sorry, they hear hey guys, what's up? I'm Tony Mallory. Hi, I'm Victoria Mallory. And we are the, the Mallories. Cheesy or not. Hey guys, sorry Victoria couldn't make it today. Uh, it's all about me. It's all about me. Uh, I'm sure that's what you watching for. Anyway. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, it's so cheesy. <laughs> so there's a lot going on. You have VMAL Customs Fashion Company, VMAL Customs Modeling Agency. Tony no Mallory Music. <laughs> what? So we just want to take you guys on this journey with us, and it starts right now. So let's go to the questions. Shall we? How did we meet? How did we meet? Here we go. Okay, first off, this dude was crazy about me, okay? <laughs> like, he was a little cray-cray. I'm not going to lie. Like stalkerish. So first off, she couldn't stay away from me. Like I think, and this happens all the time, but my hair kind of does this hypnotizing thing on its own, and my face doesn't make it any better, you know. Y'all, like to this day, even though like we're married and everything, he still kind of stalks me. It's kind of creepy. Can't get rid of this dude. Now, some may say I'm kind of stalkerish for her. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not. Hey, babe, is that okay? So here's a real story. Yeah, it's time to tell the truth. <laughs> it's time to tell the truth. All right, so she's right. I was. She's right about me being crazy about it. She's not right about the stalker thing. So, so this is how it started. We went to I in 98 or something like that. Started going to this church and um, big family church. And um, I knew she wasn't a Christian because when I went there, <laughs> when I went there, she wasn't there for like a year. And I was a Christian. I just wasn't saved. She was, a, a she was Yeah, she was good. I professed Christ. She was a Christian that life. wasn't saved, didn't know Christ, and didn't go to church. <laughs> So that's cool, cause who says you need to know God? You know who says you need to profess Christ and go to church to be a Christian? It's old school. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so I go to rehearsal one night, cause I, I was we were kids, so we go to youth rehearsal, and in walks this family. Now I was the little fat boy, bald head that always had the nice suits and the clean shoes that could hit all the high notes in church. That was me. This is true. That was me grew up in church. My dad was a pastor at every church we went to. Uh, so, um, <laughs> my dad was a pastor at every church we went to because every church we went to was my dad's church. So, <laughs> oh my so anyway, we're at rehearsal and in walks this family and everybody, this is rehearsal on a Wednesday night for kids. Here we go. Everybody in the family had on Sunday outfits. My mo my mother in law had on her Sunday best. Yeah, mama. My brother, Talk my my, uh, <laughs> my father in law had on his Sunday best. Everybody had on their Sunday best, but I saw this little girl in the firest, and it was only fire because she was wearing it in the firest uh, Easter dress. Whatever. This thing was big. It, it was like a <laughs> wedding dress for kids. It was big. It was fluffy. It had flowers. What do y'all know about the flowers inside the netting of the dress? It was banging to me. <laughs> Big Easter dress. And I was like, I want that girl, dog. That's the girl I want. <laughs> so, so my sister, Laterica. What's up, girl? Shout out to my big sister, Laterica Mallory. What up, what up? Uh, my big sister, that night, I was like, I need to get with her. Whatever you got to do in your bag of tricks, whatever you got to do in your in your great vocabulary you know she's an a student get her for me trick her whatever i want to date her 
So she's like, no, I ain't about to do that. I ain't about to, no, I ain't about to get her. No, yeah, you did it yourself. We always argued as kids. So I'm like, man, I'm about to go. I'm about to walk up on her. Though. I was like 10. I'm like, I'm about to go get this. Fresh from Alabama. Fresh from Alabama. We just moved from Alabama. So I walk up to her. I'm like, hi, how you doing? My name is Tony. Welcome to rehearsal. Welcome to rehearsal. And she says, who is you? <laughs> and from that moment on, I knew. Fast forward. Fast forward. All right, fast forward. So now we're dating. We're 10. Let me tell you how that happened. The youth choir, we went to a church. And I was going to name the church because I do remember the church name. I do remember. I'll never forget Don't this day. Mom. I'm not going to do the name though. So we were at this church. It's a small church. They wouldn't even know. Tony. I'm sure there's a lot of miracle temples out there. So not that that's the name of the church. There's like 20 people that went there. Okay, so. Okay. So, <laughs> we're not going to cut. Okay, we're good. Sorry, guys. We don't do name dropping. And I said Miracle Temple. So, anyway. So, we had to cut it. <laughs> so, anyway. Anyway. Um, so, we went to this engagement. We went to this engagement at this church. No name. And the kids had to sing. This is probably about a year after I first met Victoria. Um... A year after that date at rehearsal and so I was I was giving my sister stuff I was like doing her chores I was begging her to get Victoria with me get me with Victoria so one day in the engagement where we're about to go up to sing I asked my sister to do it again because Victoria was she was in the kids choir uh, with me and why so, was that funny though <laughs> why was that funny because I can't sing because only the Mallory's can sing whatever news flash I'm a Mallory now you are so, Victoria tells my sister, tell him I said, yeah, but if he tells anybody, then we're going to break up. Uh, and, yeah, that's how that happened. So, <laughs> that's how we started dating. So, now we're dating. You know, she's 10. It's called going together. Oh, we were going together. We weren't dating. When you're at that age. We yeah. were going together. We were going together. Where we were going? Uh, who Not knows sure. where we were going? We are going to church every Sunday. But it wasn't dating. Mm -mm. And the only time we got to see each other were on Sundays. So... Pretty much. Yeah, Wednesday the whole, the whole, and Wednesday nights, the whole Wednesday. anticipation thing. I couldn't wait to see you. So, yeah. So now we're going together. Well, about a year after we went together, after. A, okay, you'll meet them in a minute. Oh, we're going together now, and um, oh, a homeboy. I'm not gonna say his name. I should shout him out, and he's probably laughing right now because he knows who I'm talking about. My best friend. He liked. Victoria. Victoria, <laughs> he liked Victoria. So he called me one day and he was like, hey man, who do you think looks better, Victoria or this other girl? And I was like, definitely Victoria. That's my that's my girlfriend, bro. You know, we 10 now. We not kids. Get out of here with this kitty game. This is mine. Go get yours. <laughs> so he was like, no, for real though, you can tell me like, who do you think look better? Do you think Victoria look better or the other girl? So he did that whole mind trick game on me. I'm like, well, if we're talking about physical appearance, uh, the other girl, she looks really pretty. And he was like, okay, hold on one second. Okay, so he had called me, and he and I were on the phone, and he was like, yo, your boy think this girl look better than you. And I was like, don't nobody look better than me. She's still like and that. <laughs> and isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? You know? Whatever. Anyway, so I was like, he didn't say that. He was like, yes. He said that. He thinks that this other girl looks better than you. And I was like, I need to hear that. So he's like, let me call him on three-way. That's when we used to like use the land, the landline phone all the time and you can click somebody in. So he was like, hold on a second. I'm going to click him in. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to put my phone on mute. So then this dude calls me. This dude calls me. Well, he, I was on the other, I was on the other line. So he clicks back over. He's like, hey, say that again. And I was like, well, sure. Set up. Such and such looks better than Victoria. And then I heard, click. That's what I heard. And I'll never forget that sound. Click. Really? Never forget that sound, dog. That was the sound of us silently breaking up. So It was pretty loud. Sunday. Every Sunday. We only saw each other on Sunday. Every Sunday when I saw her, she would run and give me a hug. So we'd hug. You know, and that would, we, I couldn't talk to. This is still Victoria Glover, people. So I still didn't. I still didn't have the uh, 
I did I wasn't graced to be in her presence. So anytime she came around, it was like, oh, let me give you a hug and let me hurry up and get out of your atmosphere because <laughs> I'm not worthy. So Sunday, I went to give her a hug. The following Sunday, I went to give her a hug and she walks under my arm. It's not a complicated move for her because she's short. But she walks under my arm. Didn't know if it was intentional or accident. You know, didn't know if I was trying to hug her too high. Definitely intentional. Definitely intentional, clearly. Thank you for sharing that. You're She's welcome. never said that before. You're welcome. I always thought it was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, she walks under my arm, and when she walks under my arm, that moment broke us up. We were broke up. And Ten years of silence. Tell them how many years it was. Ten years. Seriously. You can ask anybody. If you know us, ask anybody. Ask my mother-in-law. Ask my sister-in-law. Ask my sisters. For ten years. Silence. I gave him this. Uh, yeah. Ten, was it ten years? Yes. It was ten years. Start dating until. No, it was about eight, eight years. years. Eight it was years. eight years. We rounded up. That's fine. Eight years. <laughs> it was eight years, man. For eight years, we didn't say, literally, physically didn't say a word. We went through middle school. Now, we didn't go to the same middle school, but we went through middle school and going to church every Sunday and seeing each other on Wednesdays and Tuesdays. Didn't say nothing. We all had the same, we both had the same crowd-ish. Yeah, ish. Didn't, didn't, <laughs> didn't say nothing. Again, she grew up in the hood. She's 100% hey, hood. That's enough. 1,000% hood. You haven't seen hey, hood until up. you met her. <laughs> um, and me, I grew up in the church, 100% church. I was lived in the, I lived in the hood. No, he lived. This is what he did. She says it's he all lived the time. just outside of the hood. She said like every if he lived time. in Baden, he lived in the, he lived on the hill. <laughs> <laughs> Window and see everybody like Whatever. doing street racing. Y'all know what I'm talking about with the street racing. Get on your boy, and get set, and just take off in the middle of the street. Don't <laughs> you don't care about no traffic. You just run. He was able to view it from his perspective. He was not in it. So okay? she said, she said every time, everywhere we live in St. Louis, we lived out, just outside. just outside the hood. Almost made it. So I'm like, whatever. <laughs> like, which one is an accomplishment? He wasn't yeah, I grew up in the hood. I grew up right outside. The right hood. outside of it. So you were close enough. I was close enough. You saw it happen. I did. You saw everything. I did. <laughs> and I can tell people, yeah, man, it was a shootout <laughs> around where I live. So he didn't have to get on the floor. I didn't have to duck because it was uh, unless they were aiming for the sky pile Fourth of July. Boom, boom, boom. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. If you're not from St. Louis, you have no clue what we're talking about. So I don't know Detroit. Yeah, I don't know. know a little yeah, Detroit. You probably trained us. <laughs> so. Anyway, um, eight years, man. Eight years we didn't talk. We didn't say anything to each other. Literally, we would walk past each other physically in church and not say a word to each other. Don't mind my knuckles. We would walk past each other. <laughs> Everybody just rewinded it just so they could see how ashy my knuckles was. That's cool. That's cool. That's all right. You won't see the back of my hand no more. So, uh, so yeah, eight years, man. And then some people that were discipling myself and Victoria... Uh, they kind of they, we just hung out all the time. And they talked to us. They introduced Christ to us, uh, specifically to Victoria. I got saved. My dad, my dad, you know, always raised raised us up. Raised. We've been we've we were risen. Uh, no, my dad raised <laughs> us good. My mom and my dad, man. Yes, and, they uh, did. Shout out to mom and dad. Shout out to mom and dad. What's up? Uh, shout they out raised to my mom us. for dragging me to Sunday school. Yes. Yes, because I wouldn't have met her. Thank you for buying that dress. And okay. so... <laughs> That's enough on that dress. That's so, real. So anyway, they were discipling us, you know, and Victoria got saved. She got saved at the age of 18. We were in a service. 17. 17. Two weeks. Two weeks before her 18th birthday. So we were... We, we had uh, the guys that were discipling us, my big brother... Big sister Don Lacey, shout yeah. out to y'all. Actually, Lacey is the guy and Don is the girl. <laughs> so, they gonna get too mad. <laughs> they gonna be too mad, dog. They probably gonna be the first people to see this video. So, so they were. Uh, Lacey, Lacey was in charge of this service, and so at the end of every service, we would open up the floor for prayer to happen. And our prayer warriors, you know, the, the teens that would pray for the other kids. This was a kid, a youth service, banging youth service yes. we had after church every first God. Sunday, man. Literally. It was crazy. 
uh, kids are being saved, lives are being changed. Like, yeah, this was amazing. So anyway, we were in that service. We were having that service, and uh, it was time for prayer. And I was one of the guys that prayed. You know, I was one of the preachers there, one of the youth pastors there. So uh, it was a line of us up here praying for people, of everybody that was praying. No, let's let me just press pause because I need to talk from my perspective right now. Time out. Okay, so I literally. Okay, Don had just come back from Atlanta. They had moved there. They had been there for about five years. So I kind of felt like abandoned in a way when she left. Because mm -hmm. when she left, I left church. Like I no longer attended mm -hmm. at all. So I didn't see him like easily for about five years at all. And he only saw my mom, and that's what kept hope you came alive. For, you came for that one Christmas. Easter and Christmas. Okay, I was that. I was that saint. <laughs> Whatever. So anyway, um, when she came back, I was, um, you know, I was just kind of drawn to her. Like, she just had the most, like, sweet spirit ever. And she just had a way of, like, captain, like keeping me captivated. So anyway, she asked, she had invited me to this service that he's talking about, this Sunday night service. And I was like, girl, I go to Fur Round Park on Sundays after church. <laughs> And she's alive, people. So, anyway, for some reason, I got my little outfit ready to go to Fairground Park after church, and this girl's voice is stuck in my head, inviting me to church. And I'm like, why am I like playing tug of war right now with going to the park versus church? This is this wouldn't even be like an option. It wouldn't be something I would even consider. So. Anyway, I felt that at that point that it was like God tugging at my heart telling me, hey, it's time for change. Mm -hmm. And so I went ahead and stopped ignoring it and I went to the service. So I'm in the service. The preacher is talking directly to me all in my business, like talking like it was like they was with me the night before at the club. And I was like, I'm feeling super exposed right now. So they opened up. the. They did an altar call. And I was like in tears. I'm bawling in my seat. Um, I had my cousins with me. No, I only had my one cousin, Jamila. Shout out to Jamila. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, I had sucks. her with me. And I'm sitting there and I'm bawling. I'm bawling like a baby. And she's like, Vicky, you going to go down there, ain't you? And I'm like, <laughs> like yeah, I'm going. <laughs> so I get down to the front of the church. It's a line of us. So it's like my cousin's behind me and I got a friend that's in front of me. And... It's like four people down there praying, Tony included. So the girl that was right in front of me had um, had somebody she was praying with, and Tony had become free. And I was the, the I prayed. I prayed as long as I could for that boy because like, I saw Victoria coming. So I was, <laughs> I was nervous. Did you really? And God okay. bless him. Bless him. Oh, bless him. That's a mess. Just hug me, brother. Just hug, me for, want to pray for me, hug me for 10 minutes as Victoria walks over to the next person. So I was planning on walking <laughs> to the next person. I was standing at the line. It was my turn to go to the person that, that was available. Tony was available. <laughs> so I pushed my cousin ahead of me. I'm like, go ahead. So she's like, okay. She walked as right soon as, As soon as my cousin went ahead of me, the girl that was standing directly in front of me, had become free and she grabbed my cousin like she lifted her hands out and grabbed her so I have no choice at this point but to go to him or I look crazy <laughs> so I'm like uh. <laughs> and I walked over to him the boy prayed yeah the boy prayed me right out of my situation like I was crying so hard I was like whoo this boy is anointed I think I I think I just got saved again like this <laughs> so, uh, long story short yeah we prayed then we became friends. That was pretty tight. And then we started dating. Never forget the day she wanted to break up with me. Uh, her birthday. Come on, we're not getting ready to tell not story. Getting there? No. No, we're not getting ready to do that. No? No. Alright. For another video. Tell you guys later. So, uh, yeah, we started dating. How did we start dating? How did we start dating? We became friends. Oh, uh, we became friends. How <laughs> we started dating? Yeah, right. We became friends and one day I was like, man, this is the day I know. And I called her and I said, hey, you know how, because we knew, you know, we eventually felt like the Lord had told us, okay, that's your husband, all right, that's your wife. So we kind of each knew it and we kind of figured that it was going to happen, which is tight. And so uh, I remember calling her one day thinking, all right, you know, we, we dated, I mean, we were friends, now we date, no, we're friends. 
we're friends, so now it's time to date. How am I gonna ask this chick out? How am I gonna ask her? And but you still gotta ask, or you still gotta go through the motions. But you know what the answer's gonna be, and what the results gonna be. And I'm thinking she understand what I'm talking about. Like we on one accord. So, and she's like, mm -hmm, I know exactly what you mean. Like you know what's gonna happen, and you know it's a process to it. And the process is easy, so you can take it. But even when you start the process, this is what she said. When you start the process. It's, it's still like that little butterfly feeling like you don't know what the what it's going to end up with but you know what it's going to end up with you know what it's going to end up with so that's that was what I said when she said that I'm like oh she know I'm about to ask her so now I can really sing so I was like so without you know any other small talk it was so cute. I said do it again I'm not doing it, do it I sung you should let me love you do it again. no I'm do not doing it, it. Do it again. I the people want to hear it I said, I, want to hear. I said, you should let me love you. I don't like, don't, don't do that. I'm Freddie Carroll. Oh, I said, you sorry. should let me love you. To her. I said, <laughs> real slow. Like, yeah. you should let me love you. Let me be the one so to like, talk to all lyrics. my. <laughs> yeah, I'm not about to sing. Not Whatever. Saying. Okay, so he sang it. So I sung it. And her answer was. I did. I did. Let me call you right back. This girl <laughs> says. I, uh, so I got the phone with him and I talked with my roomie, Christina Bowman. Shout out to Christina. Woo -woo. Uh, and she was like, oh, Victoria, you're so cute. Because I was like, I'm afraid to let him love me. I really feel like this would be it for me. And she was like, Victoria, you're cute and you should give him a try. And I was like, thank you, Chris. Okay. So... I called him back two <laughs> hours later. Mm hmm. Three like, hours later. Whatever. 12, but, okay, okay, 12, wait, wait, 27. wait. So, for him to have given me like this whole spiel, right, which was like a lot of babbling, okay. And like seeing this awesome song, for him to go through all of that. And when I called him back to be asleep, this dude was asleep when I called him back. I'm like, hey, Tony, he was like, yeah. Like, are you woke? He's like, yeah, I'm up. I'm like, you are not awake. Like, he's supposed to be waiting on my call. I told him I'm going to call him back. So, yeah, I was asleep. I thought it was a wrap. I was planning on moving to Mexico the next day. <laughs> like, she's like, I got to call you back. I'm like, yo, we were friends for nothing. So. <laughs> Did you see what his motives were? So. Tony Hunt with me, just so everybody knows, okay, because when we were dating, he was like the perfect gentleman, which he Am still I? is. He still is. He still <laughs> okay. opens up doors. He still pulls out chair. That's okay. I'll toot your horn, boo. He is still all of that. But things change a little bit. Like, I used to do stuff that he would say wasn't annoying. Like, it was cute then. Like, mm -hmm. like I have this, this habit sometimes of going like, <laughs> like doing that little noise sometimes. <laughs> but before, whatever. But that's before, what you you I was like, eyes. I'm sorry, does that bother you? And he was like, absolutely not. Like, <laughs> no, I thought it was cute. I'm like, oh, okay. And so okay. we got married. He was like, babe. So she calls me back and she says, okay, I think I'm ready. First she says, are you asleep? That's the first thing she said. And then she says, okay, I think I'm ready to cry. Like, How you gonna cry after you just got an attitude? Are you asleep? I think I'm ready. <laughs> so then my line was, Okay, uh, all right. He didn't even know what to say. So what do we, what do we do now? You were expecting that was my to turn exact line. Down. I was expecting her to turn me down. Um, so. Oh yeah, a little. Fun. We started dating, and then do we have to tell the marriage thing? How we got married? Yeah. No. Here we'll we are, guys. six years later. Yeah. Well, almost six years. Almost. November when? November first. I'm gonna say twenty second. November first will be six years. Whoop. So, out of this beautiful union has come two beautiful little princesses. Two. Tori, Terry! <laughs> come here, girls. Okay. Put your dress out of her. Put your dress down. Oh, Lord. The girl had a dress taken. Because we got it all together. Come here, girl. Nah. Come here, Tori. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Ugh. Say hi to the people. Say hi. hi. Look, say hi. hi. Right there. Look, look right Terry. <laughs> She's looking at herself. Look right here. Right here. Hi. Say hi. 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 
She's looking at She's still looking at herself. Let me do this. All right, now look right here. Say hi. Hi. What's your name? Two. <laughs> Say Terry. Terry. Tori. And this is? Tori. Tori, how old are you? How, how many is it? All right. So, <laughs> so these, so these girls, these girls, she counted because they're being homeschooled, and I think they love it. We love it. Daddy. What? So, this is our little family, and we thank you guys for watching, and thank you guys for joining us on this journey. This was just an introduction. Here comes the good stuff. Say bye. Say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Terry, go blow him a kiss. All right. Pink. Pink. <laughs>